family and friends, we are gathered here today to join this woman and this man in marriage. Tonight, Nick and Amy seal the bond that has grown and deepened and flourished since they first met. Today they announce not just their tremendous love, but also their lifelong commitment to each other to enter into something greater than their individual selves. Today we enact the union of Amy and Nick, and with their union comes the binding of families and the building of communities. Aren't we lucky to be here? <laughs> On behalf of the bride and groom, I'd like to thank their parents, Carolyn Malik and Reed Malik, and Mary Ann Gillette Sloan and Jack Sloan. Jack Gillette. <laughs> Without them, none of this would be possible. Amy and Nick would also like to thank Eastern State Penitentiary, <laughs> historic site where they first met, a strange and powerful place to get to know your future spouse. <laughs> I'd also like to thank all of you for being present and being a part of our ceremony today. Finally, I'd like to thank Amy and Nick for showing me and showing us that the love of two people can be so transparent, so immediately self-evident and honest, so open and generous that it becomes a light that shines on all who witness. Thank you both so much. I'd like to ask that Suzanne Cade, Nick's godmother, please step up to share with us a reading from Corinthians. Amy and Nick, the covenant that you are about to make with each other is a sacred expression of your love for each other. As you pledge your vows and as you commit your lives to each other, we ask that you do so in all seriousness and with a deep sense of joy. With the conviction that you are committing yourselves to a dynamic, growing relationship of trust mutual support, and love. I love you, not only for what you are, but for what I am when I am with you. I love you, not only for what you do with yourself, but for what you're making with me. I love you for the part of me that you bring out. I love you for putting your hand into my heaped up heart, <laughs> and passing over all the foolish weak things that and for drawing out into the light all the beautiful belongings that no one else had looked quite far enough to find. I love you because you're helping me to make of the wonder of my life one of the of the temple, of the works of my everyday and my approach to the song. I love you because you have done more than any creed could have done to make me good, more than any fate to make me happy. symbol of the commitment which binds these two together, 
There are two rings because there are two people, each to make a contribution to the life of the other and to their new life together. Amy and Nicholas have consented together in marriage before you as witnesses, and there too have pledged their faithfulness each to the other, and have pledged the same by the giving and receiving each of a ring, by the authority invested in me, according to the laws of the state of Pennsylvania, I pronounce that they are husband and wife together. Those that love has joined, let nothing sunder. You may kiss each other. Thank <laughs> you.